As Clark enters the cellar, the ship is emanating light and a voice says he's Jor-El and Clark must accept his destiny. Everyone around him has fulfilled their role. He has until sundown. The next morning, he tells his parents that he met his biological father, but he's not going to listen to Jor-El. Lex looks at Clark's vial and he then sees Helen with Lionel. She supposedly denied a wedding gift. Lex admits he stole the vial. He wants to change, but she can't accept such behavior. Clark and Lana enjoy each other's company. He doesn't want their relationship to break. Lex says he betrayed Helen's trust and the marriage is off. Lionel's diligently working at the caves. He wants to know Walden's obsession with Clark. Lionel has made an identical meteorite key. Clark stares at the sunset thinking about jor -El's promise. He then hears jor calling to him. In the cellar, he's told he will obey and the ship holds him against the wall and burns his people's mark onto his chest. He's forced to begin his journey. His parents leave for Lex's wedding, but he doesn't tell them what happened. Helen wants to forgive Lex. Clark is afraid Jor-El will be able to control him, so he wants to destroy the ship with the kryptonite key. At the caves, Pete yells at Lionel that he stole his family cream corn business. As Lionel is giving a speech, Clark speeds in and out. Lionel then sees that the key is gone and is furious. He searches Pete, but there's nothing to be found. Jonathan gives Lex a compass. Lana stressed and waiting for Clark, but he's preoccupied with the ship and tells her he'll catch up. As Lex is waiting, the cans leave. Chloe is complaining again about Clark's relationship. She came to warn him of something, but doesn't tell, instead just keeps complaining. Helen walks down the aisle and the Kents hurry back. Clark takes out the key and puts it into the ship with difficulty. We immediately see that the ship starts to decompose. It is overwhelmed and then implodes. It releases a large energy wave. His parents' truck crashes because of this. Clark wakes up and the whole cellar is gone, and so is the ship. He then sees the truck. Lex and Helen get into their private plane during a power outage. They drink to their marriage. Martha's at the hospital. Clark tells Jonathan what he did, but he's upset he didn't tell them. His actions have consequences. The doctor then tells him that Martha has a concussion and sadly lost her baby. Jonathan's sad and angry. He leaves. Lana asks what happened. He tells about the accident and the baby and says it is all his fault. He then mentions that he was warned that people around him would be hurt if he didn't listen. He then runs off. Close with Lionel and says that he was right about Clark. Clark then sees his mother crying. This upsets him greatly. He goes to school and is looking for the red kryptonite ring. Pete tries to talk him out, but he still blames himself. He then finds the ring and Pete can't stop him. Clark takes out a motorcycle and is leaving Smallville. Lana cries for him, but he won't stay. He then puts on the ring and asks Lana to come with him. She says it's her home. He then takes off as Lana cries. We then see Lex wake up in the jet and Helen's not there. He finds the cockpit destroyed and the plane then crashes. Clark leaves Smallville.